crocodiles. They're not cute. They're not cuddly. But they are quintessentially Australian, and especially in this tropical part of the country. And it seems that Western Australians have a particularly complicated relationship with this incredible survivor. Ever since they were deemed close to extinction in the 1970s, saltwater crocodiles have become a protected species. This sanctuary and research centre opened 30 years ago, and most of the animals here were rescued by rangers. G'day, Brad. Yep. David, pleased to meet you. you. This is Chris, head crocodile keeper. Hi. How A briefing doing? chat yeah, before an unusual but very necessary okay, relocation we'll job. And we'll approach this other crocodile that we want to get. We're going to get a couple of ropes on him. And once we've got the ropes on him, we'll try and drag him up towards the front here where it's a bit easier to work on him. But it all starts to go pear-shaped, run. This crocodile has been provoking a large arrival and needs to be removed for his own safety. So what we might try and do before we drag him too far is if we can, get it taped around the jaws and that way with the jaws contained it makes the operation a whole lot safer. Do you want to come in and have a, have a heave on the end of this too Raj if you don't mind? More the merrier. Heave. Keep pulling, keep pulling. That's it, down the laneway. With a jaw pressure of 3,000 pounds per square inch, saltwater crocodiles are more dangerous than sharks. That's good, perfect. You can stand on. And attacks on people, though relatively rare, are on the increase. Well, well that'd have to be one of the most efficient hunters ever born on this earth. They're a real stealth predator, so they operate camouflaged. About seven times faster than a human being is their reaction speed. So if you're right at the water's edge, you know, scooping up a bucket of water and that crocodile comes out at you, by the time your brain even registers it, he's already got you. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> In here we have our, our hatchlings, our baby crocodiles. But there's a strange paradox here, at least from my perspective because there's also a captive crocodile breeding program here which raises income by culling and selling crocodile-related products. The Australian saltwater crocodile skin is the most sought-after skin out of all the species because some of the species actually have uh, small bony platelets in their belly skin and it's the belly skin they're, they're mainly after which um, is that... It's OK. Shh. It's that, that beautiful, clean, white belly skin, you know, very uniform scalation, yeah. that sort of thing. I'm sorry. Here you go. You're right. Yeah, does it ever seem strange to you that, that at one end of the chain you are protecting and rescuing crocodiles, and then at the other end they're actually being bred in order to be killed? Yeah, there is a, a, a small conflict of interest in, internally in myself. You know, I see the ones that we farm as being the commercial operation which allows us to continue as a, as a park and to operate and, and save the animals out of the wild. There is a stipulation that any crocodile caught in the wild is not allowed to be used for farming purposes. Incredible. It's actually a very, very beautiful animal and it's survived so long. You've got to give them credit.